Hey everybody, uh, I'm doing a lot of experiments over the last couple of years with one bag travel, two bag travel, uh, roller bags, luggage, all different kinds of luggage, uh, and I, I kind of have finally decided to pull a trigger and spend some real money here on uh, some Tom Bin bags. Uh, like I say, I've been doing a lot of different, I do a lot of traveling, not a ton, but uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 business trips a year, uh, probably four or five, six personal trips. Um, you know, so I'm probably traveling anywhere from 15 to 25 times a year. That's, that's on flights. Uh, and then, you know, probably take a few um, car trips as well. And, and uh, I, you know, I do a lot of multiple city trips. And so I've been experimenting with all kinds of different configurations of bags. I'll, I'll go through that uh, in a different video. But for this video, I just kind of wanted to go through the unboxing of some of the Tom Bin stuff I bought. So I bought a, uh, well, I'll show you what I bought. Um, so never, haven't opened this. This is the first time. There I go. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, so obviously, oh, okay, this is interesting. Uh, this looks a little bit different than I thought. Um, Interesting, couple of the lines on this obviously Nordic uh, Halcyon Tom Bin, Tom Bin Big. Uh, some of these lines look a little brighter than the others. Um, no big deal to me, but just something that I'm noticing actually looking at it. It seems like they catch the light. Um, they catch the light a little bit differently, but uh, anyway, this is the, uh, if you know your Tom Bin stuff, this is obviously the daylight uh, backpack. Uh, and it, it's got the, uh, the interior Halcyon, um, which is, I think, Northwest Sky or something, but this bag is actually quite nice. Um, I like this bag, and I actually do like, I was afraid the Nordic would be a little bit too bright, so I only got it in, in this one bag. Um, but I do, I like it. It's a more casual look. Um, you know, I bought, I bought these bags because I'm looking for something that Honestly, I can use uh, primarily for business. I, I will use them for pleasure a little bit too, but I potentially have some other bags that I might I might uh, lean on there. But these bags I wanted to uh, use when I go somewhere for business for more business and any business. So that's great. Uh, looks like I've got a seven inch cash here. I'm not a big cash person. C A C H E. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't intend on using lots of um, uh, storage and all of the, all of that kind of stuff. I just don't use that stuff. But so this is the seven-inch cache. It's kind of good-looking cache. Feels nice and and foamy. I have a seven-inch Android tablet that I'll use, so I'm glad to have that. Uh, of course, I got the absolute strap. I've never seen or touched one of these before, but this one, uh, this. Definitely feels solid. I, I like how this feels. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in a different review, but um, to you know to test, I got a, a Tom Bin Pilot, and the strap that comes with it. Um, while I can't point to anything specifically, it, it just feels a little cheap. It's interesting because it has the, the Duraflex clips, but this definitely has some more beefy metal clips, and, and uh, definitely feels feels good. So I'm glad to have that. This is interesting. Uh, so the Snake Charmer. Um, I got this in the Olive um, Para Pack, which I like quite a bit actually. You know, Tom Bin for a lot of um, for a lot of their storage bags uses uh, Dyneema and and you know even some heavy duty Cordura and things. And I just don't think you need that. Uh, and it you know it makes their stuff quite expensive. It, you know. It, it's always nice to to touch a nice fabric, but um, you know when when you have a big part of it being mesh and whatnot. I actually think this pair pack it doesn't make it any cheaper. Um, it should, I think, but um, I kind of like this pair pack. It just just looking at it right now for the first time and experiencing it now for the first time. I kind of I like it a little bit uh, a little bit better um, than I thought I would. It's I like it better than Cordura, I like it better than Ballistic Nylon, uh, just, you know, not, not as a bag material maybe, um, but, but definitely for, uh, definitely for something like this I like it better, so, 
this is great. This is a lot bigger than I thought. Um, but I'll, uh, I've got another thing that I use um, that I use for stuff like this. So I'll do a review of that later as well. And then I did buy a couple of these things. Uh, this is actually the handle, uh, and I bought it. I bought the handle specifically for the snake charmer. Um, so I'm not sure if it's got a, anything to you know, where to necessarily clip it, but whatever. I'll just clip it to here. Um, the bottom line is, is I want I wanted a handle, a multi-purpose handle that I could use for some different things to pull stuff out and whatnot, and I did get it um, specifically so I could carry this thing. Uh, so anyway, that's interesting. And then I did get a two-clip strap, uh, one two-clip strap again, potentially for the snake charmer. Um, and I do have a couple of other bags that I plan on putting inside of here. So got those as well. Interesting. So here we have a Western Flyer. Now for any of you Tom Bin people um, who know your bags, I considered a lot of bags uh, and I definitely considered the TriStar. Um, but after doing, I do, like I said, I do a ton of travel and, and after looking at Red Ox and, and looking at some different options for kind of a, a one bag and, and then I will do um, a review of this in another video. I've got a, I'm not really a one bag traveler, I'm kind of a two bag traveler, but kind of everything, every bulky thing goes in one bag. Um, I've got another bag from Timbuktu that I use that uh, I carry quite a bit. And, you know, I just, I looked at the TriStar and I never saw it in person, but just looking online, um, it just looked, you know, when you add another compartment in here, it just looked like it would turn into this big giant cube. And I didn't want that. And I kind of don't need it. Um, I wanted something that would be a little bit smaller that I could use for one big travel. Uh, and, you know, interestingly, um, and I'll try this out right now, uh, the reason, one of the reasons why I got this is because I read that it fits in here. Um, so I thought, you know, I could use this as a briefcase, and I do have a pilot as well, again, I'll review that later, but um, I could use this as a briefcase, I could use it for one bag, because it uh, does convert to a backpack, I think it you know, would make a, a slick, really slick one bagger, and let's just try this out right now. Uh, interesting, I got, I got this in Iberian, which I'm not... I'm not thrilled with this color. I really, I would have gotten Northwest Sky or something else if I could have. Um, they didn't have it, um, so I didn't get it, of course. Um, don't really like this color, but it's actually darker than it looks online. So that's interesting. All right, let's try this out. Um, so what I wanted to do is use this as a as a poor man's packing cube, or maybe it's a rich man's packing cube. I don't know, but um, and it does look like it definitely will fit. Uh, as a packing cube. So I want it to be something where if I'm going on a, a smaller trip, I could just use this as a packing cube and then of course get there, take my stuff out, use this as a day bag, and uh, off I go. You know, after I, I ordered this stuff, I um, kept looking at the Tom Bin stuff and um, I definitely saw that the, the Freudian slip, uh, I think it's the Synapse 25 Freudian slip, fits into here. So I'm going to buy that and you know anybody that knows about these bags knows that you have these two pouches in here and uh, that'll give it some some strength because it, you know it's nice because you can easily roll this up which I really like. Um, but if you put the Freudian slip in there it'll give it some it'll give it some uh, backing and make it easier to carry. Well I really like this Northwest Sky. I'm, I'm bummed out that I, I couldn't get that for the Western Flyer because I, I like that color, uh, but that's okay. Um, just looking this through now, this this will be fine. Um, so anyway, that's the Western Flyer, so that's great. And uh, well, this over here, and da -da -da -da, I got a Aeronaut 45. Now, I've seen a couple of unboxing videos of Aeronaut 45s, and everybody who unboxes them I shouldn't say everybody. Many people look at their Aeronaut 45 and they say, 
is this the Aeronaut 45? And they go and they check the tag, which I'm doing now, and indeed it's an Aeronaut 45 because they're afraid it's an Aeronaut 30. And I can see why they do that, because it definitely looks smaller than I was thinking. Um, but, you know, obviously I got this, I can't even remember what this is called, ultraviolet, I think. Um, I do like it, actually. I'm um, not a big fan of the of the old Dyneema uh, white. I, I just not not my style. It's a little a little kitschy for me. Um, don't really like that, but um, that's okay. You know, it's it's an interior color, and I do appreciate the bright interior colors to see inside the bag. So uh, this will be interesting. I'm going to do a, a review of this um, shortly. Um, I do like this in the black Halcyon. It, it looks sharp. The reason that I bought these bags um, is so that I could have, you know, this is kind of going to be my, if I'm, if I'm going on a, a full week business trip, um, this is going to kind of be my, my setup for the airport is, uh, you know, this for, for suits and, and things if I need them. And this would be my personal item and, you know, overflow. Uh, for clothes and, and whatnot, and, and then I have a even a smaller bag um, that I usually pull out that's got headphones and uh, a tablet and some other things that I use for when I fly, so um, to pass the time. So th th this will be my setup. These look sharp. Um, I I'm actually liking these better looking at them right now than I did uh, when I saw the pilot. So I'm glad about that. Um, more to come as I dig into these. And this is interesting, so this is the uh, shoulder bag, or uh, packing cube shoulder bag. Bigger than I thought. Um, definitely, you know, that's pretty, pretty thick, but, you know, pretty big. I mean, here's the, here's the backpack and here's the shoulder bag, so that's a, that's a pretty big bag. I was thinking something a bit more like the side effect, but that's fine. Um, you know, this, I'm going to use this as a packing cube as well. Again, it's it's looking better. I'm liking this black Halcyon better um, than I did with the Pilot. Um, and I am glad I got uh, these bags now that I'm looking at it in black Halcyon rather than the Nordic. Uh, I love the Nordic. Um, if I was if I was probably just buying for for personal travel, I'd get the Nordic. Just looking at it here, but I think you know to mix in business, this is just I think attract a little less attention and um, and does look a little bit more business like I will not be you know just looking at this now I would not be afraid at all to bring this bag to a business meeting and and set it in the corner or whatever if I have to catch a flight later so happy about that and the last thing is uh, the laundry stuff sack for the Aeronaut 45 so again this is in that really like this color uh, this is in the Northwest and so this will be great, and um, always kind of a thing that ticked me off. Uh, ticked off is the wrong word, but you know, it was a little annoying as having to pack my clean clothes with clothes that are dirty. So this will be really good. So that is the unboxing of $800 worth of Tom Bin stuff, uh, and I have a pilot as well, and I'm going to do some um, individual uh, video reviews of it. But you know, just looking through it right now, um, it, you know, it feels high quality. Um, I've never actually touched Tom Min stuff until I got my pilot a few days ago and I've used it a few times and like I say I'll review it um, but but interestingly uh, looking at this black Halcyon luggage this this seems a lot I don't know why uh, but this seems a lot higher quality to me than the pilot did probably wrong about that but it just you know maybe it's seeing it together um, and just seeing the pilot individually but ordering the pilot taking a look at it you know convinced me because honestly Tom Bin isn't quite my style and I'm a little bit more of a Red Ox you know mission workshop person but um, I just you know don't quite like the Red Ox stuff enough for business um, for corporate travel which is what I do and I want something that I can put in the corner and you know, I could with the Red Ox, but it just, it's just a little bit too, you know, just, just a little bit too um, casual, I guess. And, and uh, 
probably wrongly, but whatever, I would feel a little bit uh, self-conscious about it. This stuff, I will not feel self-conscious about it at all. It looks really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got it. Still, it's, it's very interesting just to point this out to you guys, and I have no idea if this comes out on the, on the camera there, but you can definitely see in the Nordic that there are, you know, a line that is brighter and then a few lines down here that are a little brighter. One here is really noticeable and then one other here. It's not like it's white, but it's definitely lighter than this one's lighter and there's a few down here that are lighter. I don't see that at all in the black calcium. At least it doesn't pop out to my eye. If I look really closely, maybe, um, but I definitely see it here. I mean, it, this this one is definitely lighter. This one's a little lighter. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. This one, this one, this one, this one. Definitely this one. It almost This one almost even looks thicker. And then on the side, I can see the same thing. This line right here. I don't know if you can see this, but this line right here is definitely lighter and, and thicker than these other lines. So, I don't really mind, I guess. Oh, there it is again. I don't really mind. It's just kind of uh, a feature of the fabric, potentially. I don't think I'd call it a flaw. Um, it's probably why Tom Bin spent so much time <laughs> working on this fabric. Um, but it definitely is noticing, noticeable, this line right here. You can see this, this line right there is definitely brighter than these other lines and um, I don't you know I don't know if that would be a problem for people or not so far for me I think it won't um, but overall uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with this it's it's expensive but I do think it's going to be worth it I can already say 95 plus percent I'm probably going to be keeping it so I'm just going to have to try to uh, pack it up a little bit and see where we go from there thanks for watching and I'll put up some other videos of some of my other bags and and uh, and how that compares to the Tom Bin bags. Shortly, see ya.